What's good enough at YouTube? This is Crazy Samaras. Anyone here bringing you guys another video? And this video will be on Boom Studios uh, covers for different for Google Power Rangers and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comics. Uh, I've been meaning to do this for quite some time, uh, discussing uh, new comic covers, but I haven't really had the time to. And also, these just take a couple minutes. But I just haven't really been able to and i'm also super busy and i have like 15 16 videos that i'm working on right now for power morphicon for power rangers beast morphers for boom studios for all these different things that i have planned but um i'm super super busy and uh, i'm not even sure when half these videos will be able to go up so i'm so just keep that in mind that like um this may go up really late this may go up a couple days who knows uh but this one will be on boom studios co um issue covers that i've been wanting to do um i've been wanting to do this for years now but th this is something that i'm starting finally uh the first ones that i'll be doing are the mighty Morphin power rangers um issue 33 cover which showcases the beyond the grid um rangers detransformed uh, this includes heckle um Mike from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, who played the Magnet Defender, Ranger Slayer, Kimberly, Jason, the, not Jason, sorry, um, Chan, uh, not Jason, uh, uh, Cam, the, um, the Ninja Storm Green Samurai Ranger, um, Andros the Red, uh, In Space Ranger, and Nakia, and, um, T Tanya, the Zeo Yellow Ranger. The thing about the Zeo Yellow Ranger is that she doesn't look very feminine at all. She actually looks more masculine than she does look feminine, in my opinion. Again, that's maybe just me, but if I look at the the main cover for uh, issue number 33, I will say that right now. Um, it's also interesting to see the kind of environment that they are in in the cover. Um, it looks very forest-like, but also feels like it's something from outside of the normal world, um, maybe on a special uh, intergalactic planet. It's not very clear though. Um, this cover also showcases uh, Tanya being kind of freaked out and uh, Cam also not being so comfortable in his new surroundings. Heckle seems very much so serious and determined to move forward. Uh, Andrew just looks like a badass um, and Mike looks just determined. Um, the Ranger Slayer looks angry but like ready to take on anything. Next, we got our variant cover, which is our Forever White cover. Uh, they've done several of these Forever covers. They've done ones for red, blue, yellow, pink, um, black, green, silver, um, and now they've done white. Uh, most likely, gold will be the next one, and if they choose to do a temp one, that could be either anything extra, could be purple, or maybe they'll do 12 and like they'll do purple and then they'll do one for extra stuff. Again, we don't know anything for a fact, but they seem to be trying to cover as many things as possible. So the Forever White cover, as we can see here, features um, the Mighty Morphin White Ranger in the front because they're always going for that original Ranger for that color. So uh, red, blue, black, um, yellow, and pink have the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Same with green. Um, Forever White has, to has Tommy as the White Ranger because it was the first White Ranger. Um, Silver Ranger, we had Zane, which made sense because he was the first Silver Ranger. Gold Ranger hasn't happened yet, but if you had to guess, it will likely be, uh, if they do gold next, um, the, Zeo the Gold Ranger from Power Rangers Zeo, which will be kind of cool to see. Um, what we do see in this image is, as I said before, Mighty Morphin Green as the main one, Mighty Morphin White as the main one in the center. Um, we have Dino Thunder, um, White, bottom left. Um, we have Alien Ranger, White, um, above that. Ninja, uh, White Ranger from Power Ranger Season 3. Um, Ninja Steel, White Ranger, above that. Wild Force, White Ranger, um, Mystic White Ranger next to that, um, Rhino Ranger next to that, Omega Ranger from SPD, and Cat Ranger from SPD. So that's very cool. Next we have our special comic that tends to be referencing a scene or event in the Power Rangers show. Um, the last one I remember 
was the scene from the Samurai Journey one where Cam gains his Green Ranger powers. In this one, we actually see Tommy transforming into the Black Dino Thunder Ranger. So that's kind of cool. It is interesting to think that this time they're doing one that has nothing to do with what's actually going on in the show, unless they actually have something that references Tommy in this universe, but we're not really sure. Again, this is beyond the grid, so we don't know if a good Tommy even exists in this one, but we'll have to wait and see when we read the comics. Next, I'm going to move into our Google Power Rangers issue 14. Now, issue 14, I discussed this in another video where they showcased a whole bunch of new stuff, characters, villains, you name it, from this comic. Um, it shows, it showcases um, for our, the main cover that Jason will be switching colors with Trini. Jason will become the Mighty Morphin Red, uh, no, Mighty Morphin uh, Yellow Ranger, and Trini will become the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. And they will switch their weapons. So uh, Jason will have the um, power daggers and um, I mean the, the power, um, uh, not the power daggers, the, yeah, no, the power daggers and um, and Jason will have the power sword. So that's cool. Uh, as far as the ranger variant that they have for this, it is the ranger slayer, which is very cool. We also have one, and this has been one of the cool things that they've been also doing for these special uh, covers, which have been one referencing the show in some way, uh, referencing an iconic episode from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This one being the body switch episode, which is very cool, where the rangers switch their rangers' minds. So in this case, we actually see in this image that Kimberly gains the mind of of Billy, and Billy goes into the mind of Kimberly. So they actually switch on each other. And then the last one is the movie cover. These are also really awesome. I love these a lot. This one is actually a reference to um, Wayne's World. If you've ever seen that movie, it's a great movie. Uh, and they actually reference it well because it says here, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll morph. Um, in the original one, I believe it was like, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll barf or something like that. Or I forget how it worked. It was something along those lines, but yeah, you see all that. It says Google Power Rangers, um, and it actually showcases a kind of uh, colorful couch, which kind of represents the, um, the 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 couch from Wayne's World really well, but also kind of references Power Rangers in general. So that's very cool. Overall, I like all these uh, covers a lot. I think that it's great when they go to do things that reference. Um, you know, things that are classic as well as things that are really well known. Uh, I think it's a really good thing to kind of highlight in every single sense. And just in general, I'm very much so a fan of all this. Um, I'd love to know your opinions about all this below. Um, personally, to me, as I said before, I'm very much so excited for everything that's coming out. Um, I think that uh, Boom Studios does a great job with their comics. I hope that these comics continue on for years and years. And um, I'm curious if Beyond the Grid will either go into something brand new um, at a later point that maybe we're not expecting, or we'll go into something that will connect back to the grid, or I don't know. I mean, really, there's a lot of possibilities that they could explore here. Um, I'm looking forward to them exploring more about Heckle, because Heckle is supposed to be the Dark Ranger, for those who do not know. And um, just in general, looking forward to seeing a lot of things. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe. I love to know your opinions about this. And uh, leave your comments below. So until then, guys, I'm Crazy Samurai 71, and goodbye, guys.